How are you today? Kathleen Vicenzati here, Vice President of Sales with Magnolia Design Company. Super excited to be with you today. It's time to woo woo get on board for the Polar Express. I am going to sprinkle the love, so thanks for joining. Um, today we're going to have a fun time making a fun Polar Express DIY kit. So super excited to be with you guys. Um, and can't wait to uh, share this fun, fun project with you. Um, hey, Deborah. Hey, thanks for uh, uh, jumping on. Hey, Andy. I've seen you a lot this week. Thanks for coming. Hey, Jana. Welcome, welcome. I am actually going to get on here and sprinkle the love. So as you're jumping on, hope you're having a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, maybe you're just getting back from services. Maybe you're getting ready to go to services, depending on where you are. Um, or maybe you're just home enjoying um, this beautiful uh, Sunday morning wherever you are. It's 10 a.m. where I am in the East Coast or West Coast. And I think for our friends on the West Coast, what time is it? Like 1 o'clock. So um, today we're going to have some fun with the Polar Express. Hey, Kathy. Um, so let me just sprinkle my love. Um, while you're sprinkling your love, grab a cup of coffee. Uh, have some fun because we are going to get ready uh, to get on board the Polar Express. I don't know about you guys, but um, let's see if it's going to let me share. Um, no, it has me in here as Magnolia. Um, I don't know. I love the Believe song from Polar Express movie. So I don't know if you have ever watched the movie. <laughs> I can't imagine. But this is just such a fun project. Um, hey, Robin, yeah, I'll show you the kit. It's such a fun project because this is also the type of project you can get um, multiples of it's only um, the kit I'm going to show you today is only twenty three ninety nine, so it's under twenty five dollars. And actually, you could probably get two for one. It, and let me explain what I mean. It's not a two for one deal, but you could get one kit and then get like another surface, and you could make two or three out of the same kit. Um, maybe even four. Um, just get some extra surfaces, add them on. So what I'm going to show you today is, um, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's going to be the Polar Express ticket. Um, so this is the stencil, and then it comes with the surface to make the ticket. And then it also comes with a small white paint. It also comes with the paintbrush, and it also comes with a, oh, I have a sample. It also comes with like a sample packet of uh, paste, black paste. Uh, so if you are thinking of, the Polar Express experience, right? Um, how cute would it be, the little DIY kit? You can get everyone together, watch the movie, put some hot cocoa on, and um, just have some fun making this kit as a group. And it, I think it'd be fun for um, all ages, maybe like eight and up um, could have fun doing it. If you have little ones, you can help them. Uh, they could really have a lot of fun too. So um, super excited uh, to just share this. Um, Sprinkle, so um, all aboard. So you guys ready to get all aboard? <laughs> all abroad? No, how, how about all aboard? All aboard. <laughs> um, come join me on the Polar Express. Um, so I was a little self-conscious about wearing my little hat today, but what do you guys think? Isn't it cute? I'm like, it's Christmas. We got to get in the spirit. Thanks for sprinkling. Um, Karna, thanks Hannah for sprinkling. Thanks MJ. All aboard. Hannah's all aboard, right? Woo woo. <laughs> oh my God, I love you guys. Thanks for joining. I was like, oh, nobody's gonna be up with me on um, Sunday morning, oh, but um, but you guys are all here, so I'm super excited. Um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna make the kit um, as it comes, and then I was gonna make another one just to show you the versatility. So what I was saying is the kit today is our deal of the day. So again, you get the surface if you're just joining us. It comes with the surface, it comes with the brush, it comes with the paint, and it comes with the stencil, and it comes with the paste, and also a squeegee to do it. I actually grabbed um, some ornaments that I think um, I'm going to just put a little bow and ribbon on the corner just to dress it up a little bit. And then I also have um, a marker. So this is what I was thinking of doing. So let's just show you the stencil first. We'll get this ready. How many of you... Um, have your eye on this kit or we're planning on waiting to get it for today anybody hey joey thanks for watching i just see is that your profile picture have a little santa hat too right because we got to get in the gifting spirit here 
So you see how on here um, it has admit one, admit one. I was thinking of putting um, my nephew's names here, like Ben and Ford, and like just giving it to them as like a Christmas ornament and then sign and date the back of it. Um, so that was kind of my plan. Um, but what do you think? Or should I not, or should I fit it somewhere else? I thought it'd be cute. Like, or I could do a mint one and then maybe what I'll put is Ben for Benford, Ben, Benford, because, um, that's their names together. So, um, and then maybe give it to them. But so I'm going to just take the surface and it's a two sided ticket. So the other thing that's really cool about it is that you can make it two sided if you want, right? I'm just going to do the one side for the sake of today. And it does come with some white. I hope I have some white left in this, um, because I've been making lots of stuff here. So um, I'm just going to get my surface out. Yeah, I got plenty of white. So get some white out and then um, not white out. You know what I mean? No, just get your white paint out. So it just comes with the thing. So we're just going to, um, we're just going to surface the um, Polar Express surface. So I'm just painting the white paint and then I'm going to distress this Yesterday, or if you were here with me yesterday, or Friday maybe, was the first time I distressed anything. And I did it with the brush. And I think this time I'm going to try to distress it with a sponge because when I distressed it, it looked like too, I don't know, too fake distressed, I guess. Like, I wasn't happy with the way it came out. It looked more like I tried to make it look distressed rather than really be distressed. So I'm going to try a different technique today. Um... And, you know, that's what it's all about, is just learning and crafting and creating. So there you go. So I just painted the surface super easy. The edges are um, burnt, like kind of a rough edge. So I am not going to paint the edge. Actually, I'm going to try to get this paint off the edge. I'm just going to. Um... So all I did was just paint my surface. So that's one. And then um, I'm going to make two today. So if you get the kit, you can get um, an extra surface because you'll have enough paste and paint. But I'm actually going to change my paint color up just to show you the versatility if you just want some different things. But if you get the kit, it's $23.99, but you can get um, an extra surface or two. And trust me, you will have more than enough um, paint and paste. And, of course, the stencils are reusable, so you can um, make multiple tickets. So... Um, I'm, I, I have this gold here. I was going to do like a gold ticket. And actually painting this gold reminds me, I think my daughter last year actually took the Polar Express stencil and took our gold ink. And she actually stenciled the Polar Express ticket on a red sweatshirt up the sleeve, I think. Like kind of on the sleeves or maybe at the bottom. I, I, I'll have to get a picture and post it so that you guys can see. So... Okay, so now we have two tickets. Um, so all aboard. So our tickets are getting ready. So I painted one gold, and I painted one with the white that comes with the white. So I'm just going to get my um, heating element today and um, just dry it off. So, oh, how cute. Um, oh, Annalie is on here. She um, did it on the bottom. <laughs> I didn't even know she was going to be on. So thanks, Annalie, for sharing. Um, super cute. If you have a picture, Annalie, send it over to me. Um, I'll post it. Hey, Tammy. Thanks for joining. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy Sunday. You know what I didn't do either is I didn't share this to the uh, creator group. So maybe I should do that so some of our creators can watch. So I'm just drying off our surface so that we could put our um, stencil on. I guess I could have painted this ahead of time, but I didn't think that far ahead. All right, it's pretty... It's, it's working on getting dry. While, while we're waiting for it to dry, I'm going to grab my stencil. But what did I do with my stencil? I just had the stencil. <laughs> Didn't I just show you the stencil? Okay, people. This is not funny. Did it fall? Oh, it fell. <laughs> I 
like I just had it here. Hey, I see Staten Island's in the house. Let me just grab the stencil. Hang on. I'm like, oh my goodness, am I losing it? <laughs> I'm like, I'm losing it. So here's the stencil. Um, did you ever do that? Like, I didn't leave this two foot space. It can't be very far. Um, hey, Rachel. Um, hey, um, Cindy. Um, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you think I'm funny. <laughs> some people say I'm crazy, but no, um, we gotta have some fun. Crafting is fun. That's what it's all about, right? So for those of you who are just coming in, um, we're making a Polar Express ticket. Um, and right now what I'm going to do is prep my, um, stencil. I'm fuzzing the stencil. And the reason you want to fuzz the stencil is because you don't want this. It sticks in place so, so that you get a nice clean line. Um, but at the same time, we just painted this surface. And I don't want to, um, I don't want it to, uh, pull up the paint I just put on. So you want to get some fuzz in the back. So it's sticky enough to stick to your surface, but not too sticky so that it, um, pulls. Hey, Tracy, thanks for joining. Come on up, pull up a chair. So what do you guys, um, have in your cup of this morning? Tea, coffee. Some of you on the East Coast in the afternoon might have moved on to other stuff. Um, I'm a coffee girl. If you haven't met me already, um, I'm a coffee girl. So I'm glad you're watching. We're getting ready for the Polar Express uh, ticket project. Um, hey, Tammy, teas. Tammy drinks tea. All right. North Carolina's in the house. Staten Island, we said that earlier. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are all here. Hi, Diane. I love, Diane, that you follow us. Um, perfect. Thanks for jumping on. So, again, this is the um, Polar Express DIY kit. So, you get, um, like I said, the kit comes with the white paint. But we're going to distress it. And, actually, you can distress it with the chalk paste. Um, so, I'm going to put some chalk paste on um, my uh, sponge here. And so the kit comes with the black, so I'm just going to put a little bit of a black. Um, I just got some of my chalk paste, and I'm just going to put it, like, right on here, putting it on a sponge. Okay. Never done this before, so hopefully it'll come out. Um, it's always fun experimenting. You guys inspire me to try new things. So basically I'm just going to take the sponge, and I'm just going to, Go like this around the edge. Oh, yeah, that's coming out nice. So I wanted to distress mine. So the kit comes with everything you need, including the paste. So you can actually do this technique on your kit. I just wanted it just a little distress on the edges and much better. Um, and then what I'm going to just do is rather than, see, I just did the edges. I'm actually just going to take it like this. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. So that it looks um, a little more distressed on the board. So can you guys see that? So a little more distressed on the board. What do you guys think? Right? So you can do that same technique. All you need is just an old, this is just a sponge that I had. Um, get that out of the way. I didn't want to distress the gold one, I don't think. Well, maybe I do. Maybe we should. What do you think? We'll distress the gold one too. I might need some more um, paint. How many of you guys like the distress look? Or do you prefer like a clean look? Like crisp clean look. I kind of, I'm more of, I don't want to say farmhouse, but like aged weathered, like it has a life experience type look. That's kind of who I am. So I'm just taking the gold that I did and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going to. Right around the edges. Right, Tammy? It depends what project we're doing, right? I hear ya. So I'm just taking mine. 
and then there's the gold. So then I just did the gold a little bit, distressed. All right, so we have the um, paste on. Let me just do one more hit of the um, heating because the last time I did this um, and I didn't dry it, it pulled up my paint. If you were here Friday, I kind of was sad. It pulled up my paint because I didn't, cause I tried to rush it. So while we're kind of chatting here, waiting for this to dry, talk to me about the movie The Polar Express. How many of you have actually seen the whole movie in its entirety with Tom Hanks and the whole thing? Anybody? Oh, look at lots of hearts. Okay. So I love it because it's all about belief and I love the song. Isn't it Josh Groban, I think, who sings the song? So like if it wasn't for Facebook, like movie, like Facebook copyrights and stuff, I would actually be playing the song right now. But I can't because Facebook would then not show this to you because we were stealing music. But anyhow, and, and then how cute is it? Like, and you can only hear the bell if you believe. So how many of you still believe, right? Um, so we're, we fuzzed our stencil. I'm going to do it one more time. And such a cute little movie. So what I was saying before was that if you um, have family or friends or girlfriends um, or family that you want to get together, this is a great kit to get a couple kits and then throw in a couple extra surfaces and then have like a Believe movie night, right? You can put the movie on, you can all like have hot cocoa, sit around and make your crafts together and just have a fun night. I think it would be so fun. So what do you guys think? How many of you are gonna do that? I'm gonna line this up here on my surface. So there we go. So just lined it lined up perfectly on my surface and I am going to um, put them both together because I'm going to do one after the other. So that's why if you have two surfaces you could do this together. And then I'm just going to take, I'm going to do it all black, uh, just kind of like the kit has in it for you. So just take a little bit of your black paste and here we go. I don't know if I stuck it down good enough. I was kind of super excited to show you guys. Um, I get so excited when I get on here that it's like I sometimes move faster than normal. Do you guys ever have that? It's like, I think nervous energy, right? Keeps us going. So happy Sunday. Thanks for joining us. How many of you got the spirit trees yesterday? Oh my goodness. I loved watching the pink spirit, the pink and white. If you haven't seen it, just check it out because you could use that same technique on so many of our other surfaces. And I would have never thought like the pink and white for Christmas, but I guess the Candyland Christmas is like the big trend this year um, with the pinks and the baby blues and the different colors. Um, I'm like a traditional Christmas girl, red, green, um, but I, I did love the pinks, um, on it. So here we go. So here's our ticket. You ready for the peel and reveal? Hopefully it doesn't peel my paint off. Yay. Oh my gosh. Peel and reveal. Came out so cute. Look at how cute that came out. Okay. So I'm going to do the next one. And as I'm looking at it, I guess I didn't have it centered hundred percent right, but Oh, well, we're going to put some ribbons on it, so we'll do a better job on this one. And I'm just going to get a dry squeegee because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Just sticking it down. And then I'm just going to go right in. Oh, my gosh, I love it so much. You know what? I'm so glad we distressed it because I think it just makes it look so fun. And sometimes being off-center works. I guess I didn't even think about to just double check. I figured if it lined up, it would line up, but now you won't make the same mistake I did. Um, so we're just going to go right through here with the black. And again, the kit comes with the paint. It comes with the stencil. 
comes with everything you need to make this project. So this is like a perfect, like, even like say you're um, traveling for the holidays and you want to go somewhere else, send it to wherever you're going. Like send it ahead of time and um, everything you need to make the project will be there. You don't need anything else. That's what's so fun about what we do is that it's so compactable that you can just take it. So we'll see. This one might not be centered either. I didn't really even look, but... Okay, so there we go. Yay! Yay! So you guys ready for another peel and reveal? Oh my gosh, I love it. I can just tell it's going to come off amazing. What do you guys think? Oh, so cute. So again, this is a double-sided, so you could do this both sides. So see here, I have this one. And I have this one. So look at um, this one's a little more. Uh, this is the white, the one that comes in the kit. This I just use a different paint as the base, but with the black. So now what I'd like to do is just embellish them a little bit. And um, I am going to embellish them with an ornament or two. And so I have these just little ornaments. And I'm debating whether or not. I want to keep it the black with the black bow in the green the green and red. Yeah, I think I'm going to do black bow with green and red. So I had a little bit of ribbon, and I just made a little bow, a little black bow. Um, you like the gold one, Robin? So cute, right? So the kit comes with a white paint, but if you have a gold paint at home or you just want to grab a gold paint, you can do whatever surface you want. Um, so I am going to just add a little embellishment. I have the ornament. I tied one on to um, some string. So I'll just cut this off. So all I did was just tie a little ornament to a string. And I had some black string, so I'll do the black. Um, so I want it to match the ribbon, but I didn't want to put the ribbon on the balls because I didn't want the balls um, to be... I didn't want the ribbon to dominate the accent, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm just tying a little thing on so you can see what we're going to do when we get it all done. So this, again, Polar Kit Express, Polar Express Kit is only available today. Otherwise, you got to buy this part separately, which is cool too, but might as well get the kit. It's a better value. And we're all about value, right? And I love the fact that the kit it makes a great gift because it comes with everything. And how cute, like... Um, I know we don't give movies out anymore, but like how fun would that have been with like a gift pack with the movie? Um, so let's see. I don't think, I think I might just actually not even need the, I think I'm going to take the thread off and not even thread them. Some of these things we learn as we go. I think I'm just going to glue the balls on it hot glue them on. So now I'm taking the thread off that I just put on. <laughs> but I guess if you wanted to have them actually moving and free flowing, you could keep the string on. And I'm just, um, I guess it's a good excuse to show you our scissors, how good they work. Um, I think I'm just going to glue it on. Oh, oh yeah, good thing I made that decision because these were super old ornaments. It just broke, but that's okay because we're going to hide it under the other one. So I'm going to just glue them together. So I have my hot glue gun. So I'm just going to hot glue it on. I'm going to glue the balls together. Okay. So I just put some hot glue on, and what I'm going to do is just make it like that, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just centering it on, can you, so just centering it on here like that, and then I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue on my surface. 
and I'm going to just set the ornaments right on there like that. And oh my goodness, I don't even need the bow. Look at how cute. What do you guys think? Do you like the ornaments or not? I kind of like the ornaments. It adds a little uh, flair and it also corrects my off balance <laughs> sign, right? It, it makes it look like it was intentional. And I guess let's see if we wanted to put the bow on. We could. What do you think? Do you think I need the bow? Bow or no bow? Can't see me. What do you guys think? Bow or no bow? So bow, no bow. Bow or no bow? What do you guys think? I was thinking too, no bow. I kind of like the fact that it's just like the ornaments, right? Now, if I had bells, I would, I could put, you could put bells on here if you have the bells. Um, so that's that one. And then I have the gold ticket and I have gold balls. Do you think I should put the balls on here or just leave it? I have gold balls too. What do you guys think? Oh, Andy says yes, bow. Some of you say no bow. No bow, right, Diane? I think so too. I think no bow. So this is the kit today. Um, doesn't come with the ornaments, but we just added it on. I think it looks super cute. Um, you could do the other side if you wanted to have it like via hanger. Um, or again, this could also be cute. Like I said, you could drill a hole in it and have it be like a gift tag and put their names on it um, on the side. I think um, you could put the name um, of somebody on the side, not do the admit one. But um I want to thank you guys for joining um, our Polar Express um, event today. And I don't know. What do you think? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to leave the gold one rustic. I don't know. What do you think? Or do you think I put the balls on it? I don't know. I kind of like it just rustic with no balls on it. I guess I could put a little bow on it. If, if, you, if you feel like you have to embellish it, you could always put a little bow on it. Um, I don't know, maybe the bow would look cute because it would like just finish it off. The little bow. I think I'm actually going to put the little bow on this one because I think it'll just finish it off. And if I don't like it, I could always just pull it off. I like it with the little bow just to finish it off. It kind of is like a little accent like piece, like I'm finished, right? All right, perfect. I like it with um, the little bow. So there you have it, guys and gals. Thanks for sticking around. Um, this is the uh, Polar Express ticket, and you could get this DIY kit um, today for $23.99. It's like under a $25 gift. This would be a really fun, like, secret Santa exchange gift, or, you know, like you got a gift um, for some girlfriends. Better yet, book a Polar Express event with your creator, and then just Put the Polar Express movie on, put some hot cocoa, maybe some peppermint chocolate martinis, get out some Christmas cookies, sit around the kitchen table, and everybody can make their own Polar Express ticket and then have a fun, lasting memory of the night they had together. That's what I love so much about, you know, being able to craft and create <laughs> with girlfriends and friends is because when you look at the piece when it's done, right, so every time... I look at this, I'm going to say, oh, I made it live with my friends, um, you know, Flo and Robin and Andy and Christine who are watching me. But like if you make it with your girlfriends or some of uh, your kids, you're going to say, do you remember when we made that together? It creates such special memories. And um, really that's what we're all about here at Magnolia Design Company is just inspiring people to connect and craft and create memories and create an experience that will last forever. So Hope you have a very happy Sunday. Thank you for joining um, the Polar Express ticket. You can get it today only. And throw in an extra um, surface so that you can um, make a couple. They also would make great gift tags and great gifts. So um, love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Have an amazing day. Bye. I can't reach. So I'm going to have to come around and turn you off. <laughs>